Hey guys, and welcome to Selection Box Science. This experiment involves one of these, the arch nemesis of Christmas. I don't know about you, but I really don't like Brussels sprouts in my dinner. So what I've designed is a Brussels bazooka to get that Brussels away from you as far as physically possible. What you need is you need a tube out from your wrapping paper, and it needs to be quite a firm tube as well. You need to chop off a section that's about a quarter of the way along your tube, and you'll end up with this, a big bit and a little bit. And then 10 centimetres in, mark a cross and draw a circle that's just smaller than the diameter of the little tube. Then cut that one out and you'll get this. Get an adult to help you with that bit because it is pretty tricky. Now we want to attach this bit onto it and we want to make it a really snug fit. And the best way that I actually found to do that is just to draw a U on both sides of the tube and cut round that. What you get is something that then looks like this and it fits really snugly round the tube. Really nice and snug. And then gaffer tape that up. Gaffer tape all the way around, all the way around. And what you get is you get your Brussels bazooka. Oh yeah. Now, this experiment relies on all the air around us. You might not know this, but there's up to about 60 miles of air above our heads and all that air weighs a lot. It creates a huge pressure pushing down on top of us, and that's called air pressure. That's what we're gonna to use to fire our brussel. I also need a vacuum cleaner. But you don't need all the vacuum cleaner. You can get rid of all this gubbins down the end, because you just need the working bit. You need to attach that bit into the bottom of your brussel bazooka, and gaffer tape it up. Gaffer tape it up so there's a nice seal at the bottom. So how are we actually going to fire the dreaded Brussels sprout? Well, you need some plasticine, a big lump of it, and roll it, roll it into a sausage shape. Once you've got it into a sausage shape, stick it in a bag, roll it up, and gaffer tape round it as well. And you get one of these. Now, key thing to make sure is that it fits snugly, but does move inside your tube. So that is perfect. Then, rip off the end, open up the bag, and stick in that sprout. Stick it in, and that is your sprout missile. Now what you need to do is turn your vacuum cleaner on, put the front of a Christmas card just on the front of the tube there, and then put your sprout missile in the back. Now with the vacuum cleaner on, the card and the missile are going to seal up the tube, and the vacuum cleaner is going to suck the air out. Now it's not a complete seal so it only gets about 10% of the air removed. This is where all that air pressure comes into play. All that air pressure is pushing on that missile. As soon as you let go, all that air pushes against it, it zooms along the tube, it picks up speed and momentum, it knocks this off and flies forward. And I've set my target as a pile of crackers over there. A um, little, little top tip, if your missile doesn't make it out the end, make sure it's heavier, put a bit more plastic on it. Right, that's the theory, let's try it. Now that is a better use for a Brussels sprout than eating it. Great job. 